in baptism we become children of God and that can never be taken away from us God will never turn his back on us therefore Ben's birth in baptism is greater than his death by suicide Whew. was I ever relieved to hear that the value of baptism exceeds the cost of death even in this case death by suicide my friends let us approach Holy Week and all of our Christian life by remembering not to look at the cost but to look at the value the value exceeds the cost amen the peace of God that passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our sermon hymn is Amazing Grace 779. We will continue by confessing our faith through the Apostles' Creed. Please join us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. You sent your Son that the world might be saved through him. 
inspire the witness of the church throughout the world, empower missionaries, Bible translators, and ministries of service in your name. Bless our partners in ministry, our ELCA Global Partner Churches, and the Young Adults in Global Mission. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. In you we live and move and have our being. Grant our parish servants united grace to find our life refreshed in you. Accompany us as we live out your mission and ministry in this context. Give us rest and renewal and strength. Strengthen us for mission in your name. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. From east to west, your steadfast love is known. Nourish seas and deserts, wilderness areas and cities. Give water to thirsty lands. Nurture spring growth that feeds hungry creatures. Bless farmers as they prepare for the growing season. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. You sustain your people in the wilderness. Give courage to all who lead in times of crisis and scarce resources. Prosper the work of those who aid victims of famine and drought. Bring peace in places where scarce resources cause violence. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Your mercy endures forever. Deliver all who cry to you, especially those who are hungry or without homes. Give life in places where death seems triumphant. Give healing to those who are sick and comfort to those who mourn. We pray for those who are suffering from the virus, grant them healing. We pray for healthcare workers as they minister to their needs and for the distribution of the vaccine. Hear us, O oh God, your mercy is great. By grace we have been saved. Fill this congregation to overflowing with that grace that we show mercy to others. Nourish any in our midst who are hungry, especially children, and bless our ministries of feeding and shelter. Give us patience and courage when the way seems long. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Your Son was lifted up that our beliefs might have eternal life. We praise you for all who died in Christ. Bring us with all the saints to the fullness of your promises. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give to God out of the generosity that God has given to us. Please take this time to write a check and send it to the congregation of your choice, and we thank you for your gifts. Thank you. 